Hi guys, I'm Dave. Welcome to Beer Virtually. So this is the second beer tonight. We just finished up the Founders uh, Backwoods Bastard, which was fantastic. So now we're on to a little more of a dessert beer. This is uh, from Southern Tier. This is Thick Mint. The name is a play on Thin Mints from the Girl Scout Cookies. Um, this is part of their Blackwater series. Um, I'm not totally sure what that means. I don't. Uh, I like Southern Tier. Uh, the Southern Tier Pump King is one of the best pumpkin beers I've ever had. Um, this is an Imperial Stout. Um, again, we're doing a ton of dark beers. It's just kind of that time of year. I'm sure we'll get to plenty of, of lighter beers with, um, oh man, the smell. That smells just like a, just like a Thin Mint cookie. Nothing special on the cap, just says Southern Tier, nothing on the inside. Wow, that smell is fantastic. That pour is very dark, very easy pour, nearly no head. I'm pouring fast and there's almost almost no head at all. Uh, let's get a temperature on this. This is one you definitely want to drink warm enough. 54 degrees, just like the last one. So we should be, we should be good. The, the smell is, and the, the mint smell is, is nearly overwhelming. Wow, it smells so minty. First sip. Oh man, it's like a Guinness. It's it's like you chased a it's like you chased a Girl Scout cookie down with a Guinness. Second soon. So I'm starting to get past the mint a little bit. There's some other flavors that are starting to come out a little. Those other flavors are more of the same flavors that are along the same line as a regular stout. You have your um, your coffee and dark chocolate flavors that are starting to come out, but not heavy. The mint is definitely forward. Pretty cool bottle. Um, real clean, clean looking label. I like the Southern Tier label. Black and white, very clean. Um, this is 10% alcohol and the... Uh, oh, let's see what we got here. 60... Um, IBUs, which I don't know where they got that number from. It's way sweeter than that. I would never go 60 on this. On the side, it says the color is very dark brown. The body is creamy and heavy. Um, bitterness moderate. I, I don't, I'm not getting hardly any bitterness. Uh, it says our dessert beers are a fusion of exotic flavors, making each of them a perfect pairing when you are craving an exceptional stout full of personality. And it says around the front, dessert beer with chocolate and mint. And you're definitely getting, I mean, it tastes, it tastes just like you're eating a Girl Scout cookie. Man, that is tasty. But I don't know if you could have more than one of these. It's one of those beers that, as good as it is, I think that, that having more than one would, would just be too much. It's not syrupy or anything like that, but it definitely is sweet. I mean, it, it smells just like if you were to just crack open a sleeve of Thin Mints. I like my thing that's out of the freezer personally, but yeah, this is uh, it's like a dessert beer. It's like you know, last one of the night, like like you go, you're hopping bars and you want to hit one more place, and they have this. This would pretty much uh, pretty much finish the night off. I, I don't know what else you could really follow this up with without. Some sort of time in between because the mint stays in your mouth. I mean, it's very, it's, it's minty. Uh, minimal lacing, almost none, no head, almost no head to speak of at all. 
I mean, it's quite dark. Um, it's not black, but it's very dark brown. It's good. Like I said, it's it's a dessert beer. I don't know if you could have. I don't know if you could have more than one. It's going down smooth though, for sure. It almost feels like you should have a side of something else with this. Like you could drink this with a coffee, but that would be really weird. But like. It's, it's such a dessert beer, you almost feel like you should have something with the dessert instead of drinking the dessert. It's, it's, it's very dessertish. And, and the mint is so forward that it's really hard to pick out m many other flavors. This might be a good beer to like, maybe sit by a fire and sip. I probably drink this a little fast. Um, yeah, this is something you could just like sip on for a while. I think even if it got warm, you, you'd be good. You wouldn't really, you wouldn't really notice that it was warm or that that it would detract from it. Very thin for a stout, for his, but it has a. It's thin for a stout, like in the mouthfeel, but overall, it it has so much presence that it it's weird. It's 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 thin, but it almost feels thick because of how much presence the mint flavor has. The beer's been pretty much the same throughout the whole beer. It, it hasn't really evolved much or anything. Still very mint forward, um, a hint of that that coffee and chocolate and roasty notes on the back end that are that are present in any stout, but but they're mostly covered up by the mint. It, I mean, it really tastes like you're eating a thin mint cookie. It's good. It's very good. And, uh, you know, if you had a whole meal planned and you, you had a bunch of real serious beer drinkers over, you, you could pull this one off for dessert. Uh, maybe instead of dessert even. You just have this beer in, in, in lieu of dessert. I think you could pull that off. It's, it's, it's got that much presence. If there's anything else you guys uh, want me to review or would like to see, like to see me talk about, uh, I'm all for it. Uh, just put it in the comments or, or shoot, shoot me a note and uh, I'll, I'll be happy to review it and see what we can do. Last sip. That was good. I I, I don't want another one though. I'm, I'm satiated. I'm... Uh, had my fill. Southern Tier Thick Mint. Very good. I think this is, this is the first beer I've done from Southern Tier. This is the first dessert beer, so to speak, that I've done. And it's good. If you guys enjoyed this, I hope you consider subscribing. And until next time, cheers.